Hi, my name's Julia, and today I'm going to tell you how to convert from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates, or what are also known as Cartesian coordinates. Let's throw an axis up on here. Now in polar coordinates, if I have a point out here that I've labeled as point R theta, what that is, is R is the length of this vector from the origin to my point R theta. This is R. And then the angle from this x-axis to this vector is theta. Now in rectangular coordinates, we would usually look at what the x value is here, and then we'd look at what the y value is here, and we'd call it x, y. So to understand how we convert from polar to rectangular coordinates, if you notice, I've drawn a right triangle here. You'll understand where the conversion comes from. So x is always r cosine theta, and y is always r sine theta. Let's look at the value of y. Now the sine of theta, sine is always opposite over hypotenuse. So that would be y over r. And if I multiply y over r times r, the r's cancel out and I get y. So I'll just write that here. Sine of theta opposite over hypotenuse, so that's y over r. So r sine theta would be r times y over r, and the r's cancel out, and I get y. And similarly, for getting x, r cosine of theta is equal to r, and the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent would be the x value over r x over r, r's cancel out, and I get x. So there you have how to convert from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates. My name's Julia. Thank you.